In this video, I want to very briefly look at reflections. Now, um, there aren't a whole lot of questions on reflections, but this really does set you up well for the work that you do in Core 3. Okay, So it's worthwhile learning this type of transformation at this point. Um, so I'm going to start with the cur or with the line rather. Y is equal to 2x plus 2. So let's uh, draw that line. Okay. So Y is equal to 2x plus 2. Looks something like that. Going through 2 on the Y axis. Okay. And um, so this point would be minus 1. OK. Now, there are two uh, main types of reflection that we need to look at. The first is a reflection in the y-axis. OK. So if I was going to reflect this line in the y-axis, then it is clear that it would look something like this. OK, so that's what it would look like. Um, so this point would now be 1. That point would still be 0, 2. OK, and this would have the equation y is equal to um, minus 2x plus 2. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as two lots of minus x plus 2, because that identifies what's happening here, how we're getting from that equation to that one. In general, we're starting off with y is equal to a function of x, and we're getting y is equal to a function of minus x, because effectively, each of the x coordinates, or the x ordinates, of the points on that line have changed sign. Okay, So this point here, for example, at minus 1, 0, has become 1, 0. Uh, this point here, okay, which is uh, minus, two t uh, minus 2, has become, over here, um, because it's, it's still on the same y-axis, okay, or y-value, has become 2, 2, uh, 2 minus 2, rather. Okay? So, all of the x ordinates have changed sign. This one was 0, 2, but obviously minus 0 and plus 0 are the same thing. So, it hasn't changed that position. That spot has stayed fixed. So, if you have a minus x, so uh, in the bracket, then this is a reflection in the y-axis. So what's happened is we have replaced x with minus x. This step will allow you to transform any curve and tr reflect it in the y-axis, just replacing all the x's with minus x. Now, if instead we want to reflect in the x-axis, okay, so I'm going to do my best to erase this line. Okay. So if I now reflect in the x-axis, it makes sense that the curve would now look something, oh, or rather the line, would look something like that, where it's going through that minus 1 on the x-axis. This point would be the reflection of that one, so that'd be minus 2. And so this is the line y is equal to minus 2x minus 2. Okay? Now, it's a good idea to rewrite this as minus, take the minus sign out of the whole thing, 
okay? And then you can see maybe what's going to happen here because we're going from this line to that line. What's changed is there's now a minus sign outside the whole thing. And so y is equal to f of x has become y is equal to minus f of x. Now, if you uh, move that minus sign over to the left-hand side, we can see that the y has just been replaced with minus y. So all of the y ordinates of all of the points that are on that line have changed sign. This was 0, 2, and it has become 0, minus 2. This one was minus 1, 0, and it stays fixed because minus 0 is the same as plus 0. So this is how we reflect in the y-axis, and this is how we reflect in the x-axis. Now, as an added bit to this, okay, one thing that is useful to know going into core 3, okay, so we don't really need it here, is you can also reflect in the line y equals x. So you can reflect in that line there, okay? And in order to do that, you replace, or rather swap, x's and y's. So if I were to reflect this line in the line y is equal to x, then my new line would look something like something like this, and this would be x equals 2y plus 2. Okay? Um, so you replace the y with x and the x with y, so you swip, swatch, <laughs> you um, swap the letters. Um, oh dear, I'm probably going to pay for that one. Um, you swap the letters and then you could rearrange it. So you get y is equal to uh, one half lots of x minus 2. Okay? And so that's how you can reflect in the line y is equal to x. But as, as, I, but as I say, okay, this is really all extra stuff. Okay? The majority of what you're going to be dealing with in the exam are translations and stretches. But this is really kind of extending your knowledge a little bit further.